Concordia repair deck. Afternoon, Colonel. Hey, if I told you that those silver birds look real fine on your shoulders? Thanks, Sparks. I like the way they look, too. Looks like everything's gonna be kinda calm here for a while. Me, I'm enjoying the peace and quiet. And the chance to work on these new P64D Super Ferrets. By the way, did you hear we lost another ship out in the Rigel system? TCS Tsiolkovsky, scientific research ship. Been missing for several days. I haven't heard anything about that. Hope you're still with the Concordia if we go to Rigel, sir. Jumping into an unknown situation. Need every hot pilot we have. They told you what your new assignment is going to be yet. Just see you as the commander of Carrier's Fighter Squadron. I'm sure they'll think of something to keep me busy, Jeanette. Janet. Twenty minutes later. Concordia Barracks. Hey, Lucky. That was a hot mission this morning, wasn't it? Yeah, things are getting better here every day. We've got the Furballs on the run, HQ's court-martialing Jazz next week. You're a lot more fun to be around, now that you're not so tense. Saturday, you're going to be taking some R&R. &R. Going anywhere exciting? Just back to Earth for a few weeks. It's been a long time since I've been home. Need to take some time to relax after everything that's happened here. That's probably a good idea. It's be tough for an older guy like you. Fly on all these combat missions. You should leave the action to the younger pilots. Now listen here, you little... Yeah, I think I'll let you have all the fun for a while, Stingray. As you know, nearly all the patrols encountered enemies. It is obvious that there are more Kilrathi in this area than we had expected. Major Edmund detected communications from an enemy patrol that we believe was transmitting jump coordinates to a larger strike force. Because of this, we are sending you to patrol all jump points in this area. Wait as Angel calls out the assignments. Lucky and Stingray, you will investigate your nav points for enemy presence. If any enemy ships are approaching from the main Pembroke jump point, your route via Nav 1 will bring you in on their flank. Any questions? Bon chance and fly well. Dismissed. And once again, we're taking the Super Ferret out for a spin. Target practice. No problem, sir. Finish 
Shep Nav 1. On to the big fun at Nav 2. Hey, target practice. No problem, sir. Lot of fighters. I think that missile came off the rails. Not bad for an old man. Got one. Just don't get hit. Bad for an old man. You know, if Stingray is going to distract him, then uh, yeah, okay, ate that missile. I'm out of here. Well, there goes Stingray. for all three. One Grickath. Well, I can't do anything about Frothras. Somebody's gonna need to get a strike package together. Maybe they should have put us in sabers. Let's get out of here. Like I said, nothing I can do about frothers. I don't have torpedoes in this thing. We're gonna have to hand fly it till we get out of sensor range. Until we hit the asteroid field.
F3 is actually clear. Alright, and back to the Concordia we go. Affirmative, you are clear to land. I guess Stingray just ran back to base rather than ejecting. Concordia, this is Colonel Giddings requesting priority communications. Roger, Lucky. All comm traffic closed for priority communications. What is your situation? Encounter two Frothra cruisers at our NAV-2. Bogies are headed to Pembroke Station at top speed. Did I copy that correctly, Lucky? Two heavy cruisers. Affirmative, Major. Two Frothra. Hold on this comm frequency, Lucky. All hands, battle stations. This is not a drill. Lucky, transmit your camera data now. We'll clear you to land shortly. Do you have anything else to report? Took down eight of the fighters, but didn't have torpedoes to attack the cruisers. You are cleared to land, Giddings. Now give me something with torpedoes. I have scanned all through the skies, but I needn't use my eyes, cause that only flies at my dead sin.